What is going on, Kingdom? So today I'm on my computer recording a video. This look a little crazy, this look a little different, but I'm working on something cool. Now, I originally have used this kind of setup in the past when I did make content at a different time, but now I'm really making a lot of content from the heart where this is really coming towards something that I genuinely believe in and towards something. And I really want to progress in this. I really want to keep progressing in the content that I'm making on this channel here, Young GT Man of God. You know what I'm saying? Working hard to put out the things that I really want to see, you know, in impact the world really make a big difference really help to do just really really incredible things which is something that you know i've really really put myself forward towards now with this new channel that i have and one thing that i just want to speak about today this is going to be the first thing that i speak about with the new setup now this thing looks a little crazy i don't know how i feel so much about this but it's going to take some time for me to get used to it okay even now i feel much more natural on here speaking than i would have before but thank god for this you know what i'm saying but today i want to speak about something today i want to speak about something and there's something a little personal to me this is going to be the first thing that I'm doing because I kind of need the computer for this so I decided to set it up a little bit today I'm going to be speaking about this uh, some time that I was watching me and um um I'll just say uh my my woman Elena I'll put her name in there even we were watching Pokemon the original series you know what I'm saying and basically what happened in Pokemon, the original series, the first one, Indigo League. I know my Pokemon. I love my Pokemon, you know. Maybe sometimes I'll, um, maybe sometime I'll speak a little bit about it. Some. I like my Pokemon, you know. And one thing that I noticed, Pokemon is very mainstream, you know what I'm saying? It's very, very, it's always been very mainstream since it's released as far as I've, as far as I've heard. I didn't really grow up in the, in the 90s, definitely not. But I've heard that when it came out, it blew up. It was very popular. They have the show, obviously, Indigo League. We know this, right? And one thing that I want to speak about that I just remembered that I think is really cool. So look, I'm going to go. So, um, I guess, which video am I going to use? I'm going to use this top video right here. I know my man's be speaking. Look, don't, I don't think they can copyright me for this anyways. You know what I'm oh, saying? I remember the story of Noah, who when he had to find dry land, sent a bird to find it. Pokemon. Okay, yeah, that's it. And now I'm showing my home. Okay, I ain't trying to expose my home menu. Okay, but listen, okay, as you can see, right? Now, as we see right here, Pokemon... Um, reference to the Bible here. That was very, very quick. We can play it one more time. But Brock here, and I remember oh, seeing this. I remember the story, I remember the story of Noah. Noah. When he had to find, when dry, had to find land, dry land, sent a bird, sent a to, bird find to find it. Pokemon and this is when they were stranded in like the ocean, and they were saying, I remember the story. Oh my God. I remember the story of Noah, you know what I'm saying? And that is a, that's a Bible reference. That's something that's coming from the Bible. That's something that's coming from the history that we know of that is in the Bible. Now, do I fully know much about the story of Noah? I keep it real. No, I do not. But you don't always need to know the facts to understand what I'm speaking about here. I don't need to know the f certain facts, I guess, of the story of Noah. I don't know too much, and I have more to do so. I mean, if anybody wants to say, you don't know much about the Bible, da, da, da. It's honestly what's coming from the heart. And, of course, what you know as well. And what I'm speaking about here now is from somebody that is of the perspective of you know somebody that is younger a young teenager in this generation you know again looking at poke this this series was around in like 2000 i think 1999 2000 some around that time i could be wrong with the year but around that time this is like 20 some, that's crazy like 20 years ago 22 years ago or something and during these times pokemon was very very mainstream and one thing that i just want to talk about very very quickly i don't really have um how this was very mainstream back then. Now, Pokemon was very mainstream, and they're putting in a Bible reference, something to reference the Lord, something to acknowledge and bring out, and honestly encourage the understanding and belief of the Lord, you know what I'm saying, in Pokemon. Something that was very, very mainstream at this time, and still is to this day. And one thing that I just, I noticed, I don't think Pokemon would ever do something like that again. I never would see nothing like Mario do that, or like, no, nothing like, I never seen, like, this was something that just seems very, very, like, like at the time, it seems like it, it, it still made sense of course you know what i'm saying and i just think i, I want to speak i guess on how i feel like even seeing this seeing this show right here how it like again i already know it's it's a popular show and they reference the bible we've we, i already said that but it's like how I feel like during that time, it, it's almost like it's almost like the understanding of God and the understanding of the Bible and the understanding of you know just our relationship with God. How some how stuff like this was spoken about far more often in the mainstream is to what we're supposed to look at and look up to. You know what I'm saying? I remember seeing like some stuff like in the like 90s or even like in I remember uh, what was it 19 uh, it was like 1986 or whatever and one of the biggest artists like LL Cool J I was, I was watching YouTube looking at like old stuff and he said like you know uh, I thank God that I'm able to be at where I'm at or I'm able to be where I'm at now 
And I just noticed that, you know, it seems like that was something, that that was something, I mean, again, people, that just seemed like it was normal. It just seemed like something that was encouraged, something that was brought to people's attention that, yes, this is something that you acknowledge, this is something that is important. And I feel like now we're very much in, uh, I just, that was so long ago. Now I feel like we're in a time where it's like, you know, the, the freedom of feeling differently, the freedom of encouraging differently, the freedom of, uh, the freedom of bringing, and that's not even really, I don't even feel like that's freedom in my opinion, but encouraging differently, bringing out different stuff to kids, you know, the see, you see the music that we really bring out nowadays that don't really have a full or great message to it is what is brought up at the highest at this point now, or you see like the, um, I, I wouldn't see really uh, the, the Bible really being um, referenced or ever brought out as something that would, I mean, shoot, you never even know if that would be, um, allowed like i feel like we really have um strong much further away from god maybe in this time than they would have back then when that time like like with pokemon even referencing the bible i know it may seem minuscule but it's just the fact that something that mainstream would just treat it like listen this is something we're going to speak about and bring out to you to be honest now i feel like there would be a big company that they wouldn't even be willing to do that at all you know because it's like oh um there's so much there's just other stuff where the bible goes against so much of what we're doing nowadays in this world you know like I could, i'm not really going to bring out too many examples for this video but there is just so much stuff in this world and what we're doing now and what we're encouraging now the music the mainstream stuff just just the what we believe in what we bring out everything that's encouraged not just even what we believe but what's encouraged what we see as what what is supposed to be important what's supposed to be popular what we're supposed to go for as you know young people what we're supposed to go for, what we're supposed to go to, is so against the Bible's teachings to the point where I don't even know, like, if a lot of this stuff would even mention, you know, the Bible at this point. You know what I'm saying? And I just really noticed that. I really just decided to think about that. And I'm like, man, really, Pokemon referenced the Bible. Again, this is a long time ago, but I wouldn't see that happening now. You know, I would almost see, I mean, Pokemon's very mainstream. You, I mean, you never know, but I just really don't. I don't see in mainstream series, at least nowadays, I don't know if there's any more examples of this going on, I have no clue, but I didn't want to speak too long about this, I just wanted to bring that up to that time when Pokemon referenced the Bible. That's cool to me, that's clean to me, that's nice. Now, do, now, now, now what, like what else, what, what other things do we see, there's so much, I just want to say, there's so many ingenuine things, I feel like with them um, content being brought up nowadays, with everything being about money, and everything being about um, appealing to the mainstream. I feel like things were a lot more organic and original at different times back here, back then. And I feel like God was a lot more brought in because, of course, with God, original things can be created that can really be amazing and incredible. I just feel like that was a lot more understood back at a different time than it is now in the age that we're living in where everything, everything against the Bible is promoted at this point nowadays, you know, and that goes from being free, doing whatever you want, thinking whatever you want, um, acting, just deciding whatever you want. That's really because there's so much more stuff being created. There's so much more stuff being acknowledged and encouraged to the point where, that we're very, very much against the Bible. I feel nowadays with all the things that we have, um, with all the stuff that we have. And, you know, I just really do, you know, I just wanted to, I guess, make a video about this because I think this is cool. I think this is great. And, um, it was just cool to see this. I think I think not like what's going on now, but this video right here that I've seen with the Pokemon referencing the the Bible. I think it just shows how um I think it like shows I almost think it's cool because it shows how back then it was different than it was now in different points and how we are straying further away from God and how we can acknowledge this and understand that we need for soldiers to rise up and we need to work hard to put out a good message put out a good message for the Lord to help impact the world and do great things for other people that's what's important to me that is what's important to me at the end of the day I want to see us all at, like you know happy and at peace and understanding the I believe in the Bible I believe in all of this stuff I believe all of this stuff is important I believe everything that the Bible speaks is real everything that the Bible says is real and it's true you know what I'm saying and it all applies to the life that we live now. It all does. You know what I'm saying? So I would love to make a positive impact in this world, hopefully, for those that may be lost or, you know, misunderstood or really, um... You know, so I just wanted to bring them that out there. But anyways, that's all I really got to say for this video today. Thank you. I appreciate you. And you have an amazing uh, morning, evening, and uh, you all have an amazing day. I appreciate you and you take care. Peace.